Bhajan's requirements of the process of Bhajan are directly related to Sri Guru. First of all, we have to take shelter completely, surrender to Guru, then receive Diksha and Shiksha, relevant Shiksha, in order to perform Bhajan. And moreover, that we have to become Vishram Dena Guru Seva. There is no English translation for this word Vishram Dena. Sripad Marat Maras has explained that in his thesis. There is no comparison with the English language. It means that we have to have so much shraddha, faith, surrender, loyalty to Sri Guru, yeah, that we are completely His. What He orders, I will carry out. No doubt in my mind. His order is my sacred, worshipable, ideal, golden life. So Srila Rupa Goswami Pahati is giving this. Three angas, we have to follow that take initiation, meaning that we accept His mercy as Sri Pad Vaishnava so wonderfully explained. I am not qualified. I am actually a very fallen person. Yeah. I don't know how I came here. What is my qualification? None. Yeah. I have read something about Bhakti. I have had association with devotees. But how I came on the fault on in the trap of Gurudev, I cannot <laughs> understand. But he has caught me and they have warned me. If you go to Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maras, he will make you cry and cry and cry and cry. You will leave everything in this world. When I heard that, the Lord said, I said, then I have to run to him. Yeah. Because I am fed up. I don't want to be related, identified with anything in this world because it doesn't give me happiness. Thus not Guru Prapajeta. Yeah. I want to hear from that personality what is really pure bhakti? So I surrendered, tried to surrender to Srila Gurudev and he said, I'll take you. Yeah, so he has captured me and I am so fortunate, the happiest person on the planet. Yeah. So the third advice which I wanted to share with all of you, first, the topmost of all Vaishnavas, Mahadev, then Srila Rupa Goswami. Who can be more than Srila Rupa Goswami? The evidence that we have to take shelter and that everything, all our miseries and arthas, reactions to sinful activities will be taken care of. If we surrender to Srila Gurudev, that evidence is given by the gopis themselves. Yeah. We've heard about the gopis, we've heard from Sripad Giri Maharas, how Gurudev is giving us this invitation and how we are here, we have to learn about Shraddha, we have to learn about Anathana Vritti, Vajana Kri, Kriya, so many things before we can really appreciate even a tiny bit of what is Gopi Bhav. But they have said they are the Supreme Authority, they are Krishna's, not different from Krishna, yeah? They are his most intimate bodyguards, you know, what have they said? If I would stand there, I would get the support of all the learned the Sanyansis. But I try to remember and share this beautiful song of the gopis. Tavakatam ritam tata jivanam kaviriditam kalmasapanam sravanam mangalam Shri Madhapatam Bhuvi Grinantite Bhuri Dharmachana So what are they saying here? Who is Bhuri Dharmachana? Yeah. Who was the greatest, most magnificent personality? The Gopis themselves explaining. Yeah. Who are giving the glories? of Sri Krishna abundantly, who are repeating his words, his names, spreading it everywhere. Those are the most beneficent personalities. Yeah? They are walking around the universe, this planet. They come with book under their arm and say, I don't want anything from you. Yeah? 
and still my Hari Tata. You don't have the eyes to see Krishna here with your ears. Satam Prasangam on the various sound below. Together, hear the glories of Hari Tata. Gopis are telling me here, yeah, what will be the effect if a little Shraddha is there and we hear the glories of Sri Krishna in Braja from the lotus mouth of the most beneficent personality, Sri Guru. Yeah? All the reactions to our sinful activities, all our anarthas, everything will disappear. Yeah? No separate endeavor is necessary. Simply hear, come and hear. As Pujipa, Vaishnava so beautifully explained. He's calling us. That is his mercy. Why he's giving initiation? A mundane person cannot have an, even a slightest idea. What is this giving mercy? Yeah? Mercy means it is causeless. You are not qualified, I give it to you. Yeah? Please come again and again to hear Harikata. Yeah? What is this? This is the most magnificent, yeah? most beneficial activity and it is performed by Sri Guru. So how fortunate we are, we cannot imagine. But we have little interest. This is our problem only. How to cultivate that interest? Yeah? In Patyavali it is said, what is the qualification to be able to immerse oneself in the glories and nectar of Harikata coming from the lotus mouth of Sri Guru? Yeah? Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamatir Kriyatam Yadikato Bilabdite Tatra Lodiyam Api Muryam Ekalam Koti Jama Sukriti Nalabdite If we meet anyone, a person, who is surcharged with Krishna Bhakti Ras. Yeah. His mind, intelligence, his everything is surcharged with Krishna Bhakti Ras. Then what stops us from getting that? Yeah. Our own lack of greed, eagerness. Yeah. The price by which we can obtain that Without any hesitation, we should run there and surrender completely to that personality. Srila Gurudev mentioned that even if a sadhu, a rashtik Vaishnava, who is always immersed in serving Radha Krishna Yugal in the eightfold pastimes, if he doesn't speak, simply being near him, the atoms, yeah, his Emanation, it will purify our heart. So this is Gurudev's Kripa, and he has surrendered. We have heard the examples of our previous Hindu Puranas, examples of Guru Shisha relationship. But what is our Gurudev doing? We have no understanding what he is doing. In his manifested pastimes in this world, in his old age, yeah, he's traveling everywhere around the world. How many obstacles are there? Many of you do not know. Yeah? How Sri Padmarav Maharaj is serving him as the ideal Guru Shevak? You don't know. Yeah? We should see Guru Dev is giving his life. For what? To give mercy only to those who don't have the qualification. But by receiving that mercy, they all become qualified, beautiful sannyasis are sitting here, beautiful Vaishnavis, Vaishnavas who are serving day and night to assist you the Gurudev to distribute his mercy. So the prize to obtain this, there is only one prize. You can perform pious activities for millions and millions and millions and millions of lifetimes, you won't get it. Only that volume, that greed, yeah, to obtain that, that is the only price. And Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, our Vedic Paramagurudev, yeah, who has brought the message of Krishna consciousness to the Western world, undergoing great difficulty. Nobody knew anything about Krishna Bhakti. He picked them up. Distributed causeless mercy and gave them by distributing these priceless books yeah, everywhere. 
making the bodies. That is our great fortune that we have come in contact. They have such a great personality. Shri Gurudev doing exactly the same. Going everywhere, tolerating great physical difficulties. Yeah? 88 years old now in his physical body. Yeah? How he is completely dedicated, giving his life for the mission of his Guru Maharaj, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sri Rupa Goswami. Yeah? So if we have a little understanding of his greatness, yeah? and a little desire to receive his mercy, then keep running after him. They're coming from Montreal, everywhere, flying all over the world to come and receive the mercy. How fortunate we are to be here today. How fortunate is everybody who is watching this wonderful festival. Yeah? So I want to conclude that I hope and pray that Shri Gurudev always keep me in his trap and make me receive more and more mercy so that one day I will have that eagerness which is required to obtain Bhakti Rasa, Krishna Bhakti Rasa. Vancha Kalpa Karupya To have heard all the Vaishnav, they spoke very highly and glorified Guru Tattva Dyas. Today has, today time is over more than 7.30. I wanted to speak something, but tomorrow I will be speaking. So, in brief you should know, the backbone, Guru Bhakti, Guru Nishtha is the backbone of heart. Though in Vedadi has been written Upanishad. Jasa Deve Parabhakti Jata Deve Tatha Guru. It has been written. As in Gurudev Bhakti, Parabhakti, um, Krishna Parabhakti, you should do Parabhakti to Gurudev. What you heard from Shankari? Aradhananam Vishnu Aradhanam Param Tasmat Parutaram Devi Tadiyanam Arshan. Here it has been told more than Krishna himself because Krishna has sold totally in the hands of his devotees. He is not Satantra. Independent. He is dependent to Krishna. Krishna mercy dependent to Bhakta Mercy. So we should know the Gyavadri. I wanted to tell you Upamanyu Aruni Upakhyan. By Guru Bhakti, Guru Dev told, oh, keep his hand off. And just all Vedas and Upanishads and everything was illuminated in their heart. In this way you heard also the Katha Ekalapya. But he was demon. He was against Arjun. He wanted to kill Arjun. And in the end what we get? Krishna killed him by his chap. So he was not Guru Bhakta. Only to kill Arjun he wanted to learn art archery. And he did so. So he was not Guru Bhakti, but I have heard that in his home, so many gurus have named his disciple Ekalapya because they have no idea of Bhakti. We see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna, he came in this world, he went to prayer and taught. All bhakti, bhakti, rush, everything to Rupa Goswami. Then he came back to Kashi and he taught everything, beginning from end, bhakti tattva, 
to Sanatan Goswami. He taught everything, all Brahma Sutra to Sarbham Bhattacharya. And he went to South and he told everything inspired in the heart of Raya Ramananda. And thus all things are coming to us through Guru Parampara, through Rupa Goswami. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, what he did, everything he will have in Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami is also will bow down to him. Gaur Premanande Mahamantra